In the last couple of years, we've seen quite a few new films released. And being a prolific film shooter, I've put my money where my mouth is and I've backed almost all of them. From Cosmo Photo's Agent Shadow to the re-release of Lomography's Turquoise to Adox's Color Mission to Cine Steel's 400D. And I even put money towards Orwo's NC500. Well, that was a mistake, but anyway, moving on. One of the few films I didn't back last year was Santa Color. By the time that Santa Color was announced, I kind of run out of money, so I did not back that one. However, Paul in Western Australia was very, very kind and sent me some Santa Color to try out one year ago. <laughs> so there you go. I'm so sorry, Paul. It's taken me so long to do this video. I actually shot the images in this video earlier in the year. I think like March, April, I shot them. And it's sort of taken me this long to get around to do the video. So I decided to shoot the role of Santa Color on this camera here, the Minolta AF Tele. Now this is one of these strange cameras from the mid 80s that has two prime lenses. Yeah, there's no zoom lens, it's got two prime lenses. Uh, so Canon also released cameras like this and the, yeah, this one is the Minolta one. I do have the Canon one, so I'm keen to do a review of both of these cameras, maybe even a comparison sometime in the near future. Now the two lenses it's got on here is a standard 38 mil lens and and also a telephoto 60 mm lens. So it's got a flash on board. It's kind of big and it's sort of bulky, but I do like it, kind of, kind of fun, you know, and if you break it, it's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is what I shot the role of Santa Color in. So let's have a look at the images. So I didn't really know what to expect from this Santa Color Aero Color 4. I'd seen quite a few images online and they had quite a sort of a sort of red wash to the images or red tinge to some of the images, which I thought was kind of interesting and I wondered how mine would turn out. So I'm gonna show you around a dozen images here from my role, my favorite ones. So let's start off the roll down at Raby Bay, not too far from where I live. And you've got this beautiful scene here. We're looking north as the sun is setting and you can see a couple of people there in the image. They're taking a, a sunset image to the west. Uh, but you've got this really nice little beach here with the sea and look at those rocks, they're nice and sharp, but they have got this sort of red sort of tinge to them. But I really like the colors in this. It does look a bit retro, a little bit old school, but yeah, I'm a real big fan of this image. I really like this one straight out the gates. It got a really nice image here. The next one is not too far away, a little bit earlier in the afternoon. It was at Cleveland Lighthouse. This is an image I take quite often. Yep, I really like this one. It just looks a little bit different to other ones I've taken. The colors look good here, but those highlights, it's kind of like the highlights look kind of bright. Um, they're not blown out, but they certainly look really good here. So yeah, I'm really loving this combination of Santa Color and the Minolta AF Tele. The next image is here in Cleveland. There's a group of houses that are abandoned. I guess they've sold to developers and they're gonna be demolished soon, I'm guessing, and some development go up there. And they all have washing machine, uh, washing machines, washing lines, washing lines in the backyard. And uh, I'm a real big fan of the, the traditional Australian washing line called the Hills Hoist. And in fact, you can actually find a, a story, a, a photographic essay about my love affair with Hills Hoists on my weekly newsletter blog, mattlovescameras.substack.com. So I'd be chuffed if you get on there and check that out. It's free to sign up and uh, you will get every week or so, you will get some cool photos and cool stories in your inbox. So these images here are of this abandoned backyard. And yeah, there's just this clothesline, the hills hoist, really like this. Really interesting, again, you know, you do get this subtle sort of red sort of hue to the image, but I do really like the colors there. So yeah, I mean, you kind of have got this kind of idea, you know, when was this photo taken? Is this a really old vintage photo? So that's the kind of look, very kind of nostalgic kind of look to the, the film. Here we are with, uh, I think this is an umbrella tree. Well, certainly this is what we used to call an umbrella tree uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I think I mentioned umbrellas tree in my review of Speed 400 film as well. Uh, we had one in our back garden when I was a kid. And yeah, when the when the branch breaks off, it's like this big stick and it has like like all these leaves above it in a, in a circle, like an umbrella. Um, so we used to call them umbrella trees. And you've also got this other red flower tree, I don't know, really bad with flora, I'm very sorry. But I really do like the colors here. Again, I mean, you know, if you told me this was taken in 1976, you know, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. It's got that very sort of retro sort of look to it. And so, yeah, I, I'm sort of really digging Santa Color at this stage. Next image is down at Capalabar, and this is just a reflection here. A reflection, it's not a reflection, it's a shadow. It's a shadow of a palm tree against the building, and you've got the shopping carts there. So yeah, I really like that. Shopping carts, I just said shopping carts. We say shopping trolleys in Australia. It's funny how our language 
has, has evolved and you know American English and Australian English British English all gets mixed in and then I'm looking up here at the the palm tree itself not this is not a fantastic image but I just wanted to show you the the greens and the blues uh, with this color kind of a little bit almost washed out the colors they're not really deep greens or blues but yeah it's kind of interesting that one here is another hills hoist. In fact, there's two hills hoists here in neighboring backyards in Kapalabar. And again, there is just this sort of, you know, sort of aged look to the photo. You know, when was this taken? You've got the trampoline, you've got the washing lines, you've got the shed, you've got some trees there. And so, yeah, really cool this film if you did want to go for that vibe when you, you don't necessarily want people to know when the film was shot. You know, this could have been taken any time in the last 50 years. So yeah, I really do like this, this scene here. Next, we have a regular in the Matt Loves Cameras YouTube channel. It is Montezuma's Restaurants at Cabalaba. Uh, a lot of my American friends think this is hilarious because Montezuma's is, uh, you know, a, a word for, uh, you know, when you have to go to the toilet. Um, so yeah, Montezuma's Restaurant. I've never been there. It's a great building. I've taken this photo a lot of times. Not my favorite image I've ever taken of this restaurant, but yeah, it does look pretty cool on Santa Color. Next image is in Cleveland. This is the gents hairdresser. I don't think I framed that particularly well. Perhaps I could have moved it, the camera down a little bit. I think there was something in the background though and I was trying to, to frame it very precisely, which is kind of hard in a point and shoot sometimes. But yeah, I quite like this image, quite like the look to it. Again, this is kind of an old school barber and an old school sort of building. So it, it sort of fits in with that sort of feeling of, of retro vintage charm. The next two images are from some church buildings in Cleveland. Got these beautiful stained windows and the flowers there look really cool. And the next one is uh, sort of moving back quite a few steps. You've got the, the old church building there. And yeah, the colors look really intriguing here because the, the greens and the blues look really kind of dark and almost, you know, underexposed. And yet the, the lighter colors look quite bright. So it does have a really interesting look, this Santa color, depending on what you shoot. So yeah, I'm really liking it at this stage. And the last three have light leaks. Now, I love a good light leak. I'm a real big fan of light leaks. So enjoy these light leak film photos with me here, friends. So this one here is the umbrella tree again with these beautiful red leaves and foliage. And they're super red because there's a massive light leak on the film. The next one is a film, uh, is a film, is a scene that I've shot quite a few times. It's an old garage. There's no car there today. Sometimes there's a really cool Datsun there, not today. Um, but yeah, you've got an almost kind of blue sort of look to this one with sort of red in the, the shadows there. I mean, this is the kind of images you get with some of those pre-exposed films, right? You sort of get these kind of, you know, looking weird looking images. So yeah, there you go. You get a, get a few of these on the, on the roll of Santa Carl for free. And here's the last one here. I think this is a mango tree, but again, my flora knowledge isn't great, but I love this old fence here in Cleveland and you've got the mango tree uh, and you've got some you know, green and red going across the frame here. Uh, very cool, really, really enjoy that one as well. So there you go, there are the results of my first roll of Santa Color. I would love to hear what you think of the results, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'm really keen to shoot some more Santa Color. When I was researching this video, I actually looked on the Santa Color website and it actually says on there, you can shoot this at ISO 400 or ISO 800 uh, with minimal loss of grain and minimal color shifts. And in fact, they even say shooting it at ISO 400 and getting allowed to push it to stops should result in accurate colors and an almost grainless look a la Ektar or Portra 160. So that is really interesting. And I'm actually really keen now to shoot a roll of Santa Color at 400 and get my lab to push it two stops. So watch this space. Hopefully that is something I will do in the future. So thank you once again to Paul in Western Australia for sending me the role of Santa Color and also for sending me a role of infrared film in 120 format. Now I haven't shot that one yet. I'm really looking forward to shooting it over summer. I've been a little bit nervous about it because you know, infrared is a super rare film these days. Very generous of Paul to send it to me. And yeah, I want to get it right. But you know, I've decided over the summer months here, here in Australia, over December, January, I've got to get out there and I've got to shoot it. And hopefully I'll get some banging images on that roll as well. That's it for this time. Take care, cheerio, see you next time.